This is uh, instructions for the Upeter S subscale motor three. And the first thing we do is we have the person sit at, at rest and scoot back in your chair, please, and move the arms resting comfortably on the thigh. All observations will be done throughout the entire thing, but I'm going to focus on each of the 27 items as we go through. We'll first start with tremor at rest. That's usually assessed in both upper extremities as well as the lower extremities, as in addition to the head, neck, and uh, jaw and lips area. We're looking for any kind of shaking and rating as we noted in the scale. Having the arms resting on the thighs comfortably ensures that the upper extremities are indeed at rest. The next part is the action or postural tremor. The arms are held out, extended in front of you, and then the fingers pointing towards each other just like this, real close, and we're looking for, again, tremor during this, uh, this uh, position. The next position we check for postural tremor is with the fingers pointed toward the nose, and then the action component is assessed by having the person touch their finger to their nose and then extend it out to my finger back and forth and making sure we get a full extension either way. That's good. The next part will be to assess rigidity and I do this at the neck as well as in each of the limbs and to check the head I first take my hand put it on the forehead and the back of the occiput move the head front to back asking the individual to relax as much as possible and I'm sensing a feeling of bending like a lead pipe or increased resistance. That's the only direction you move the head and neck. To check the upper extremity and I take the elbow, I support the elbow under my other one hand and then do a full flexion extension like that. I check it more distally at the wrist by rotating the wrist and check it more proximally at the shoulder and I do that for both sides. Then for the lower extremity, I support the knee under my hand and then fully extend the lower part of the limb, flexion and extension like that, sensing the rigidity. While I'm doing these, I do these with the person at rest, and then I repeat this, having go ahead and tap your foot, and that enhances rigidity in people with Parkinson's disease. And in fact, if you assess rigidity only, or identify rigidity only with that, that would be called a rating of one. The next part is bradykinesia, and for the upper extremities, the first thing we'll do is finger tapping. Open and close as wide and uh, fast as possible is the proper instruction, and we're counting at least 15 in five seconds. If there are any interruptions, that would get a rating of two. If it's just slow or reduced amplitude, that's a rating of one and so forth. The next part of that is to have the person hold the arm up like this and full rotation, again, emphasizing I want a full and wide excursion as rapidly as possible, again, counting at least 15 in five seconds. The next part would be opening and closing the hand at the same rating scale as the others. This is done separately for both hands. Then we do the lower extremities, have the person scoot forward in the chair if that's needed. And there are two ways of doing this. The original way for the UPDRS is taking the whole foot up and down as fast as can, getting at least 15 in five seconds. The, uh, some people choose to have the heel uh, fixed on the floor and then move the toes, again, as wide and fast excursion as possible, counting again for at least five seconds and doing it separately for each hand. That's fine.